guys and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my mermaid wig so stay here and I will show you how I applied it, how I did my makeup so it's a little cheeky get ready with me situation and as well as apply my wig. So this is not a tutorial so I don't really want to be speaking much but I'll be dipping in and out just to add just a little bit of commentary to what's going on. Um, a few people on my Instagram have actually asked me how I do my eyebrows. I know you can see it here but it's not like in the great position so if you guys want to see a more detailed tutorial on how I do these eyebrows then please let me know in the comment section. So this is my makeup palette from Jolie Beauty, it's called Sorceress and I absolutely love it. I've never had a makeup palette before so when they sent me this I was really excited to get right in there and try different looks. So today I'm trying to do something that's obviously a little bit alternative, a little bit gothic that goes with my look as well as matches my hair colour so we've got a little cheeky bit of green in there. But yeah, I've never had a makeup palette before. I'm like 28 and this is like my first proper makeup palette so um yeah I was really excited to create some looks with this palette and it's got loads of glitters in it and I love I love glitters like I see so many girls on Instagram and YouTube that use the glitters and so I got a little bit of the sparkle sparkle myself So I just wanted to jump in quickly and say I really hope that everyone is keeping safe during this pandemic. I feel like we are probably in the worst of it, but with the worst that means we're coming to the end. This is like, you know, the final boss at the end of a at the end of a video game. So I really hope that everyone does keep safe. Everyone's doing their their best that they can with their washing their hands, wearing a mask. You know, I don't want to get too much into it because I know how people feel about wearing a mask and I'm not trying to come here and start any conspiracy theories because the only time I listen to conspiracy theories is when I'm watching it on Netflix. Other than that, I don't really be talking about conspiracy theories and microchips and a vaccine and all that type of business. So let's refrain from the conversation ending in that direction <laughs> but yeah I really hope everyone is just keeping safe and we are gonna do so much fun stuff when this is over like I'm not gonna take life for granted after this I'm definitely going to try and go out as much as possible and just you know regain those lost times and do things that I took for granted before the pandemic. I feel like that's what I've learned the most throughout all this is, you know, don't take life for granted. If you can go out, go out, live life because once you get to the end, you don't want to be there having regrets. So just make sure you do things that make you happy, protect your mental health during all this. If that means finding a hobby or, you know, 
learning an instrument or just doing anything that you can that makes you feel better and makes the days go quicker, then go for it. I was actually so shook at this point. I was like, oh my God, it actually laid nicely. I look like one of those girls from YouTube. Ah. I was like, well excited. So yeah, there's me taking my big ass scissors because I don't have any smaller scissors in this. I really don't know why, but yeah, just brought these big hedge clippers in and yeah, just start taking the lace off a little piece at a time. So right now I am just taming those flyaway hairs at the top where the closure is and yeah I don't really like excessive baby hair so I just did a little natural ting that's just what we got going on now but yeah this hair I absolutely love it and I feel like if I do say so myself if I do pat myself on the back there I do feel like I've dyed it actually quite well despite the fact it was meant to be yellow the green actually works very well the hair was soft color took very well to this hair look how shiny it is it comes down to probably like mid back maybe just a little bit lower than that and I'm about five foot eight so yeah it comes down nicely you can see the nice lay it melted quite nicely on there and I have not been able to do that before so yeah it's just me feeling myself those highlights of the sweet mint I'm just really loving this hair and yeah Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.